and welcome to my channel once again this is daniel for d vibes entertainment today i have another video for you and we're going to be dealing with what we call the text reveal or you can call it the reveal text whatever you want to call it it will work your way well if you want to know the steps of how we can do something like this all you need to do is just follow me up to the end and remember if you're watching my video for the very first time all you have to do is just subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any other video that I'll be uploading. This is what we're going to be doing today. Okay, and straight on, we go into our software. Of course, we are using Premiere Pro. And of course, it gets easier when you're going to be using After Effects, but I just wanted to take you through how we can use Premiere Pro to go through all this. Okay, uh, the first thing I want to do is I will import a photo. You know, you can either use a photo or you might decide not to use a photo. As you can see here, I actually use the photo. You can do a plane if you have a logo. So I'll import a photo, which I already have right here. And I'll just drag it into my software. It's right there. But of course it's big. So what I'll do, I'll just right click here and scale to frame size so that it can fit in my monitor just like that okay the next thing we want is text so i'll go to my title go to new title default steel and i'll just say okay and i'll type in eating out of course you can decide on what you want to do it could be a name of your logo or anything that you feel that you want to and i'll just pick a random font right there and then because i want to enlarge it a bit i'll go to tracking right here and try and stretch it out just like that just a little bit just like that and then i'll just come here to the center and align it in the middle just like that okay so that is done i can give it some color i'll go for yellow which is a bit bright okay so just like that and i'll say okay as you can see our title already has a yellow there so i close that and i'll just drag my title right on top of my photo as you can see that is something that we have already okay now that we have our title onto our track we go into the next interesting bit where we have to add some effects and the first effect we want to go to get is of course i'll just come right here go to effects and then i'll type in transform as you can see i've already typed it in but you can just come in here and search for transform okay and transform is here now you need to note that the first effect that you go for makes a difference in what you're going to do if you start with crop it might disorganize all your moves so you want to go for transform first and put it into your title right there and then we shall go down close that and look out for crop okay and crop is right here we also drag it into our title just like that the next thing we do is we go into our effects control and look for where crop is of course we shall first go for crop then when i get to crop i'll just click it so that i know where my edges are for crop now depending on where you want your title to come from or to disappear it all depends on you you might want it to disappear from the left or to the right or from the top or to the bottom this time around since it's the beginning i'll just go with the bottom and i'll just try and try take that 
line right underneath my title just like that okay the next thing i want to do is i look for transform now transform of course is on top you'll just come to position and click position okay create a keyframe then try and take it right into the middle there okay now under position of course you come to 360 okay and just slide it to your right hand side you'll see your title disappearing just below okay so we've created a keyframe where our where our title disappears from the title now the next thing i want to do is i want to create another keyframe i'll just take my bar right towards the end there okay right about there and then i'll just come back to my numbers remember 360 just slide it to my right to my left this time around bring back your titles to the top just like that okay so you should be having something like this okay when i move my bar i have my title going down and coming back up so we got our title moving up and down looks quite good okay the next thing we want to do we want to put a revealing line and i'll just go to my title just click it right there go to new title default steel i'll just say okay okay of course you're directed to another box now when this comes the box comes of course you go to your tools here and you see the line tool you click the line tool then just come underneath your title and draw a line i know sometimes it's going to be a little bit tricky having to draw a straight line but if you're drawing it just below your title you should get it quite straight there so it's a bit small so we shall increase its size and we shall go to line width right here and we shall give it a 10 to increase on its width okay just like that you can also give it color and just come here and we shall give it is this a red or light red okay we shall go for something like that okay if i click my selection tool and just click right here you see we have a thin red line revealing already so i'll close that and look out for my red line just go back to my project name and then just drag it on top of the title so you have something like that so if i play this something like this this is what i'll be having okay but i also want to create kind of some revealing in my line so i'll click on my line in the truck and then i'll just come to my effects and i search for crop crop is already there so i'll just get this crop and put it into our line on the truck then come into effects control and look for where crop is okay now make no mistake we have two crops the one we used for the title this one is basically going to be used for the line so that we can make the line to reveal okay so what i want to do is you can also decide whether you want the line to come from the right to the left or left to the right okay i'll go for a right so i'll just create a keyframe here okay and i'll just try and make that line disappear just like that okay so i create another keyframe right till the end there where our title reveals out again then i'll come back to my crop right and just drag it to my left hand side i should have my line appear again 
So we have something like this. Our revealing line, revealing, and our title. Just there. Something like that. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. We come to the end of this particular one. But remember, if you want to if you don't want to miss out on any other video that I'll be uploading, all you need to do is just subscribe and click on the bell so that you don't miss any other video that I'll be uploading. That is it.